Hi, everyone. Just a quick update on Amanda Knox. Um, those who follow will know that she went to court over the summer as past August. It was determined that she she tried to overturn her guilty conviction for falsely accusing her former boss, Patrick Lumumba, of the murder that she committed with her boyfriend and another man. So she tried to go to court to overturn that because, of course, it doesn't look good for, you know, a man in Ox to run around pretending to be a victim when she falsely accused a black, a black man of uh, her crime. And so that didn't it didn't work. The courts could see right through her. They said, no, the conviction still stands. You're a convicted felon. So she's not happy with that. She, of course, as usual, she has the PR backing in the U.S. for the public relations. So. Uh, you can find out the truth and keep get updates from truejustice.org. And that truejustice.org will also be soon, hopefully, uh, posting the English translation from the Italian courts detailing exactly why Amanda Knox was, uh, she would not be able to reverse the earlier conviction that she had gotten for Selenia or um, falsely accusing her boss of the murder. And then what happened was I went, to, decided to do a quick search on DuckDuckGo just now. And the first article that pops up here, mainstream media article, AP Milan, Amanda Knox was not coerced, but freely accused a bar owner and roommates murder Italian courts say. This came out three days ago. It says Amanda Knox's handwritten memo at the center of her latest retrial for falsely accusing a Congolese, a Congolese bar owner in the 2007 murder of her British housemate contained enough elements for her to be reconvicted of slander in June. And Italian dot, dot, dot. So, of course, I clicked on this. I was quite surprised that the first article that popped up would be one that was so honest <laughs> about her case because normally uh, with her control, with her PR, you only see puff pieces. This is in the news section. Normally in the news section, they tightly control it to only put out positive pieces for her. But look what happens when you click on the article from three days ago. Oh, it's gone. Oh, missing. And I did search the link in Internet Archives and Wayback Machine, and I could not get this article. It's completely scrubbed. So I was quite surprised I was even able to catch it here. It'll probably disappear in a little while, I guess. Anyways, and of course, uh, naturally, the usual with Amanda Knox and her PR control of the news feed, they go into Amanda Knox uh, slams the Italian courts in, in her podcast and gives her lies as to why she is so, so mistreated by Italian courts, according to Amanda Knox. Uh, so there you have it. It's all uh, always saying the, the catch lines. Oh, she was exonerated. Saying, no, you got away with murder because of a corrupt Supreme Court. And by the way, this court in Florence that reconvicted her for Colonia criminal slander also took criticized the Supreme Court and that overturned her murder conviction because Amanda Knox was found guilty of murder in the NCD trial, and that should have been approved by the Supreme Court, but it wasn't. There was corruption, and the Supreme Court threw it out and let, and let her off for the murder, even though they even said in their final report that, yeah, Amanda Knox had Meredith Kirch's blood on her hand and was washing it off in the sink. We have evidence, as well as the bloody footprints, Amanda Knox's footprints walking with her boyfriend, walking in Meredith Kirch's blood in the hallway. But yeah, we still can't prove she actually took the knife and stabbed her. So that was the, the end result that got her off. And yet, whatever there's a, a mainstream media in America news article about it, it's Amanda was completely exonerated. It's such a scam. Anyways, scam continues. Scamanda's scam. And again, you read all about it at truejustice.org. They go into detail of all the facts of the case and all the details, everything you want to know. All right. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.